Hi friends, hi friends, hi friends. Happy Thursday, welcome back. I'm so excited to see everyone joining tonight for our next Throw It Out Thursday broadcast. Hello everyone, hi Sarah. Hello, hello, hello. And I hope you will let me know where you are watching from in the comments if you would like to. Hey Kaylin, hey everyone, hello Angela, hello mom, hello. Hi everybody, hello Beth, hello Melanie. It is so good to see you and Talia is here. And I have a special little guest, Mr. Bunny is gonna help me with today's broadcast. <laughs> oh, hello from Pittsburgh, great to see you as well. Yes, and I am humbled and so excited as always to be with you on this wave of momentum. And I love getting to connect with you here. And speaking of connecting, my name is Hilary LeMay and I want to personally welcome you to another broadcast in case you are new to my channel. I am so grateful that you are spending some time here and I am your label reading gangster hostess and I am here to help you kick chemicals to the curb and it is just such a blast as always. I am a platinum global team leader and AromaTouch certified practitioner with doTERRA International and I also love using the power of healing touch to help serve with the symphony of the cells. And together we kick chemicals to the curb, we hang out together, and we use essential oils for fun. Hey Drew, <laughs> he's still working, but you can listen in too, and you can always catch the replay too. Um, but I love incorporating these oils into the landscape of our everyday life with whatever is happening. And that's why we're gonna talk tonight about symphony of the cells, and if you've not, um, dug at all into it, I think you're really going to like it. And once you do, you can always come back to this broadcast later when that's relevant for you. And it's all about using these oils in integrating into our life and just in practical ways. And the most practical way is to support the people in your home, of course, and you can perform the Symphony of the Cells for yourself as well. Hi, Lizzie. Um, but it's really a gift to be able to share. So I'm excited to be able to unpack some of that for you tonight. And I am so grateful, again, that you are choosing to spend some time with me. And I like to add as much value to our time together as possible. So if you miss anything, you can always catch the replay. All of my Periscopes are archived, so you can catch them later if you need to. I don't want you to be shy, so ask questions, especially if you are new to Symphony of the Cells or Aroma Touch. Um, I've got a broadcast on Aroma Touch as well, so you can kind of learn and, and see as your journey with oils continues, which one you gravitate toward for different reasons in different times. And I have been sharing doTERRA essential oils and running a global team since 2014. And I, for myself, was able to take a series of traumatic medical experiences and traumas and turn that from pain into purpose and into passion for helping others. And oils have really been an amazing catalyst for me and an avenue for helping other people. And it's been really, really fun. And I wish that someone had shared oils with me years before they did. So if you um, know someone that would benefit from oils or if you have a friend that wants to learn about oils, I would love for you to refer them to me and we can chat together or I can help get them get oils into their hands because it's really an amazing opportunity to help yourself and your friends and your family and it's awesome. So when we know better, we can do better, right? And so when we have these natural options and these natural tools, we can support our bodies without chemicals and without having to reach for pharmaceuticals first before we do anything else. So I love bringing my community together and wellness into their space. And tonight is all about digging deeper into the symphony of the cells and helping bring your body back to harmony and balance with the power of touch. And it's an amazing thing. So if you wanna share this broadcast, you can tap the three dots at the bottom right. You can also tap the screen as many times as you want and that gives me a little heart. And it just lets me know that you're having fun along with me. And this is one of the beautiful reasons that doTERRA oils are not sold in stores actually. So um, the the element of sharing person to person, hand to hand, is really beautiful. And speaking of person to person, if any of you missed our last local event, we'll be doing another Muscles and Mocktails workshop at the V Cycle Indoor Cycling and Yoga and Bar Studio um, in South Riding on Saturday, July 27th, after the 8 a.m cycling class and after the 9 a.m. stretch class. So if you come take a class or you just want to come for the workshop, um, if you're new to that cycling studio, you get a week for free to try out any of the classes and you can just come for the workshop as well. Um, so hopefully you'll join us if you're in the area and I love keeping you all updated with our neighborhood happenings. <laughs> hey from the Jersey Shore, thank you so much. Love you guys so much too. Hey Mandy. And um, I love collaborating with 
women and I love collaborating with local business owners and bringing oils into their hands and up leveling their clients experience and that's what I get to do with Symphony of the Cells and with Aroma Touch I get to gift these experiences to people to help them see the value of these oils and see how they can help themselves as well no matter what they're feeling and so it is always such a high vibe experience when I get to share in person and that's the beauty of using Symphony of the Cells it's meant to be an energetic exchange from person to person with touch and so even though I love to reach out and touch you through the screen through the cloud and support you this way it's really special when I get to support people one-on-one -on -one in person and so I'm hoping that after watching this, you will feel led and excited to try it. And it's all about keeping it simple. So as, as I go through and share more about the Symphony of the Cells, you'll see that it's really meant to be simple. So since you all can attend local events in my area, uh, if you're not in the local area, I love bringing my favorite recipes and my favorite ideas and life hacks and ways to save you money here on Periscope and in the virtual space so we can have our little cozy nook of the interwebs that we all love so much to share. And hopefully by showing up for you consistently since 2015 when I started sharing here on Periscope, uh, we've covered so much ground together. So hopefully by me showing up consistently for you, you felt inspired to use your oils consistently, you felt excited to try new things and new methods for using your oils, and um, hopefully this helps you feel a little bit more comfortable because in the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing with Symphony of the Cells, and I'm like, what is this? This is strange, I don't know what this is, and it's really nice to have someone helping you walk through that and help you feel comfortable with how simple it is. And so this is our frequency, this is our flow right here, and I love holding space for you here. Um, and Periscope has been around since before Facebook Live, before Instagram Live, before all that, so thank you for holding space for me here. And uh, again, if you miss anything, you can hop over to YouTube and catch anything that you missed. You have a lot of catching up to do if you uh, are just new and you are catching in for your jumping in for the first time but I'm so glad you're here and so tonight we're gonna talk all about the sister technique to the aroma touch treatment which is called the symphony of the cells and this was developed by one of doTERRA's original leaders boy Truman and it's something that a lot of my oil squad, oil squad tribe uh, has been reaching for when something is going on in their family when someone is not feeling well when anyone asks for oil support in our group one of my very first things that I will recommend is Symphony of the Cells protocol, in addition to you know rollers and diffusing and various other techniques. And so let me know in the comments if you would like, you can, you can comment along there. Um, let me know if you've ever attended a Symphony of the Cells workshop, if you've ever had a Symphony of the Cells protocol done on you, or if you've ever performed a Symphony of the Cells protocol on somebody else. So I'm excited to see in the comments what your level of, of knowledge and experience with Symphony of the Cells is. And I think the cool thing about it is that it's not as structured as Aroma Touch. Aroma Touch has very specific techniques. And though that's wonderful and I love Aroma Touch, Symphony of the Cells is a little bit more free and a little bit more flexible and you can really have flexibility to just kind of put your own flavor on it which I think is really cool. Oh good, Valerie, she's done an, a Symphony of the Cells on someone and Beth is excited to take the training and we are taking the training in September. So Amanda and Beth and I, I'm super excited so hopefully you will join us for that. And so tonight we are going to dig into the basics. Since we've talked about Aroma Touch many times in the past, um, we are going to really dig into that. And oh, Taylor's saying that she loves performing them on her family. And Lizzie says no, but she would like to learn to give and receive. Well, hopefully after tonight, you'll feel really comfortable doing that. And Mr. Bunny is going to be my helper, so hopefully I can show you. And also try to stay compliant at the same time, too. And um, we're going to cover what the Symphony of the Cells is, and we're going to cover how to perform it, answer some frequently asked questions about it, and talk about what to expect at one of the workshops, um, talk about some of the resources available to you for it, and then we're going to blend one of my favorite Symphony of the Cells life hacks. And Melanie's loving her Symphony of the Cells protocols too, and it's really fun watching our kids really get involved in this, like, oh, mommy, can you do an aroma touch? Mommy, can you do a Symphony of the Cells? And that's the power of touch that most people, most families probably don't touch very much, you know, apart from maybe a hug or a kiss here and there. And it's really amazing when you can tap into the power of touch and touching someone and just how healing that is. If someone just puts their hand on you, how amazing that feels. If someone just 
gives you a hug and holds you a little bit. Hello from California. Um, it's just really special, even if there's no oils involved. Just the idea of someone just holding you for a moment is really cool and really magical. And so, you know, this is a beautiful opportunity. Hi, Sarah. This is a beautiful opportunity for you to incorporate the oils into that sense of touch and the sense of balance and safety that you can feel when you are helping and putting your healing hands on somebody else. And so two weeks ago, one of my neighbors, who's also one of my oilers and leaders, her son was extremely ill. Um, he was prescribed antibiotics. They were not doing anything to support his high body temperature and his body was just not able to regulate itself and um, his symptoms were getting worse. And a few days after he became sick, she became sick also. And not only was that going on, um, and she's a mama of three, so I need to mention that, not only was that going on, but her husband was out of town for work. So of course I jumped into action and said, what can I do to help, like come over, let's do a symphony of the cells on you because her husband is normally the one that does the symphony of the cells on her and her family loves it, her kids love it. They love it, they embrace it, and it's really magical to be able to do that, but it's nice when someone else can help step in when you're not feeling well either. So I had her come over, I fed her some bone broth and some coconut water with essential oil to rehydrate her electrolytes, and I performed one of the Symphony of the Cells protocols on her, and it dawned on me, I had shared this on Instagram and Insta Stories and in Facebook, in my Facebook group, and I had a lot of questions about that, and it dawned on me, wow, and all this time I've not posted about Symphony of the Cells. I've not done a broadcast on Symphony of the Cells yet. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity because the training's coming soon. Um, actually, it's coming to DC again. Um, I think it's the week after we get back from convention. So it's going to be a very abundant month in September. Um, but they finally released the date for the DC training. If you have not attended and you want to go to Symphony of the Cells online, you can Google it and you can find um, you can find a spot where you can be added to their mailing list and they'll keep you posted whenever the dates and cities are um, added to their schedule and when tickets are available. But I highly recommend this. Uh, plus True Wellness actually just released their beautiful new Symphony of the Cells journal and um, this is really cool. It's really comprehensive. It's got so much more than the original booklet and it's just really cool. I mean, it's pretty thick. So we're gonna dig into that too. Um, and you know, from all the questions and everything, I try to gear my, my periscopes on the things that you wanna know. What are the things that you're asking about? What are the things that we're doing in our life, in our day-to-day -day routine that when I share that, that you all have more questions and then I can sort of um, unpeel those layers a little bit more in a more comprehensive environment like this. So. It is going to be really exciting for you to start implementing these techniques. So we're going to get right into it. And what the heck is the Symphony of the Cells and why do we do it? So the Symphony of the Cells, again, was created by Boyd Truman, who's one of the founding essential oil educators for doTERRA International. And it, it's a method using touch and using oils to help people understand that the body needs to be balanced physically emotionally and spiritually and there are spinal technique protocols that directly coordinate with the human body and with oils to support specific body systems so i want to try to be as compliant as possible so you might hear me using some vague terminology because we don't use oils in terms of disease claims we don't use oils in terms of saying okay this disease this person has a disease so we're going to use this oil to cure them that's not what oils do oils support the body's natural ability to just do what each of those body systems is intended to do. So the symphony of the cells really hones in more specifically on the specific body systems, whereas aroma touch is more generally speaking, like emotional balance and um, immunity and inflammation and homeostasis in a more general kind of framework but Symphony of the Cells is really much more specific. And so there's a time and place for both, of course. So um, why do we do these protocols? So there is science and there's actually 26 years of research behind the Symphony of the Cells protocol. And um, Boyd Truman has been using essential oils longer than doTERRA has even been around. So he was using oils long before the company was started. And you can tell that my Symphony of the Cells booklet is well loved because one of the pages fell out. So you can tell that we use this a lot and the protocols in the symphony of the cells help us distinguish the needs of a particular client or a family member or someone in our life that can use our support um, that can best 
target their specific situation. So if you're having tummy trouble and you need some support, because we're going to talk in compliant terms, right? If you need some support in the digestive system, then we would do a digestive protocol. If you need support in the respiratory system, of course, naturally, we would do a respiratory symphony of the cells. And the cool thing about the booklet and the journal is that all of this is very intuitive and it's outlined for you. It specifically says for each of the protocols and we're going to we're going to go through this too. Uh, but it distinguishes each one individually. And there are 40 doTERRA essential oils used in total across all the protocols for balancing the physiology and balancing the biology and balancing the emotional aspects of the body with touch and the oils together. So, um, and if you are in my oil squad, all of the protocols are in one of our learning units so that you do not have to um, memorize it or find it or have the booklet it's there for you and then there is also a list in our oil squad private community page so if you're one of my customers you get access to all these special things you have access to the list of all 40 oils so if you want to start putting some oils aside or when you get points from doing your monthly wellness box you can put some points aside maybe and start adding some extra oils to your collection that maybe you want just aside. Some of my oilers like to have their own separate stash of oils just for Symphony of the Cells. The same thing with Aroma Touch, so they don't have to keep hunting around the house for what they need when it's time to do a Symphony of the Cells. So they keep all 40 of those oils in a box or in you know whatever setup that they have so that they're all there and accessible whenever they need them. So uh, again, if you are in the oil squad, you have access to all this information. If you are not sure how to get it, reach out to whoever brought you to our oil squad, or you can send me a message and I can tag you in that. So, uh, but something really important to notice about the Symphony of the Cells is that it is not a traditional massage where you're kneading and digging in with pressure. It's a more light touch, hands-on experience and a more energetic exchange that you're offering to someone as you connect with them using the oils in sequence down the shoulders and the back and the spine and the feet and Mr. Bunny is going to be a lovely assistant for me <laughs> as you can see so you can see the spine and the back and the feet um, and then of course breathing in for certain protocols that require respiratory um, involvement where the person is going to take a deep inhalation of the oils and so what is really cool about Symphony of the Cells is that it also helps just cultivate a better energetic awareness, that you're more aware and it's a more practical understanding of the natural progression of illness in the body. So if there's something going on, we can take a look at the Symphony of the Cells booklet and identify because each of the protocols has in detail some of the um, associated conditions. And of course, this is not compliant, so I'm not going to zoom in on this, um, but it's a list of possible conditions that you might be experiencing that would help you identify which protocol to do. And then of course, there are some icons and there are uh, one by one, it lists out each of the oils that you'll need to use. And keep in mind, we are not doctors. I'm not a doctor. I'm not claiming to be a doctor. This is just about using oils to support and using them as supportive tools to help the body naturally find its way back to balance. So just kind of like if you are experiencing head tension or if you are experiencing fatigue um, and you put like a wild orange and peppermint palm balm and you take deep breaths and you feel an energetic, a little brightness of energy, that's helping support the body naturally. Um, the same thing as, you know, if you have head tension and you put on a roller of past tense or deep blue and over the next 10 or 15 minutes, you start to feel your head tension dissipate and go away. It's the same thing. We're using oils to naturally support the specific body systems. Now, keep in mind, this is not for monetary exchange. You are not paying to get a Symphony of the Cells treatment. Someone is not paying you to have you perform a treatment on them. This is merely an opportunity for you to serve and connect with people, whether it's in your home, in your family, or elsewhere. You cannot charge for Aroma Touch. You cannot charge for Symphony of the Cells. It is not intended for monetary exchange. It is just for sharing oils with someone and helping them understand the value that you bring as an educator in their life to help support them with the oils. So a common question that I get a lot from people is to ask, do you need formal training? You do not need formal training because you're not exchanging money. You're not 
charging, you're not setting up at a salon and saying, hi, come and pay me $50 for a symphony of the cells. This is just an energetic gift that you are giving someone. So you don't need any formal training to attend a workshop or to um, just experiment with the symphony of the cells protocols in your home. So anyone with an internet connection can go online to buy the symphony of the cells booklet. Um, you can also buy the body systems fold out, which is one of my favorites. And we're going to talk about this in a little bit. And the same with the Symphony of the Cells journal. Anybody that wants to can buy it and incorporate it. You do not have to be certified in the Symphony of the Cells training unless you choose to. So if you want to attend a workshop, what can you expect? So it's a seven hour training. So Aroma Touch is a six hour training and the Symphony of the Cells is a seven hour training. Half of the training is classroom style where you're learning about the body systems, the symptoms, the conditions that you have that create a foundation for applying the technique. So again, just like I use the example, if you're having any digestive discomfort, then you would lean on the digestive, uh, the digestive symphony of the cells protocol. And then the other part of the class, the second half is all about being hands on and applying the technique um, where you are actually performing a symphony of the cells protocol on someone and then someone is performing a symphony of the cells protocol on you which is really cool and then we're going to now talk about some of the resources for symphony of the cells so um the resources that can help you to feel comfortable using this of course is the symphony of the cells booklet this is super inexpensive i believe this is like maybe 12 or 13 dollars online and um, i'm going to walk you through the original guide this is available on truewellness.com t-r-u wellness.com or from oil life or I believe also from Aroma Tools. You may even be able to get this from Elka's shop on Share Oils. And the original guide has my favorite thing, the body systems fold out. So this is the kit that I got um, a couple years ago and it came with the fold out. The new journal, I am not sure, Kaylin, let me check and get back to you. I'm not exactly sure how much it is, I don't remember. So the body systems fold out is really, really cool because it has a manual that lists all these little gear keys so there's little gear keys that are uh, indicative of different body systems, like this is for the endocrine system, this is for the cardiovascular system, this is for the immune system, and we're going to go through all these, and it's really, really cool, and I love this. And then on the back, it has a super long list of possible associated conditions. So this is really, really neat because you can just use this and kind of nerd out about it. Um, and we are going to breeze through and just sort of introduce these to you and then you can kind of unpack this information um, once you get your training scheduled or once you get the booklet. So first we're going to go through the endocrine system. So this is the thyroid, um, this is the hypothalamus, the parathyroid, the pineal gland. Um, yes, I love this so much for the pituitary gland, the kidneys, reproductive glands, anything like that. And so the endocrine system is the first body system, of course, and some of the symphony of the cells protocols that you would use for anything relating to any of those parts of the body would be the hormone balancing protocol, the cellular protocol, the forgiveness protocol, or the solar protocol. And then the cardiovascular body system is the next one. And this is things like your heart, your arteries, veins, your blood, your lymph nodes and kidneys. And then the symphony of the cells protocols that are associated with this are the cardiovascular protocol, the cellular protocol, the lymphatic protocol, and the solar protocol. Uh, the next one is the immune system. And the immune system is your bone marrow, the thymus, the spleen, your lymph nodes. And then the symphony of the cells protocols that go along with this are the infectious disease protocol. Obviously, as you can imagine, as you're starting to see, these are pretty intuitive, um, but it's nice to have it laid out for you for reference. Um, the digestive protocol, the cellular protocol, the lymphatic protocol, and the solar protocol. And then the next one is the digestive system. And this is for the large and small intestine, for your stomach, your esophagus, the liver, the rectum, pancreas, your gallbladder, and then the symphony of the cells protocols that correlate with this are the digestive, the inflammatory, and the lymphatic protocols. Um, the next one is the integumentary system, and that is in the middle, and that's pretty neat here, and that's your skin, so your hypodermis, 
um, and all of the related issues that you might have around your skin. And the Symphony of the Cells protocols that you would use for anything skin related are the digestive protocol, um, the hormone balancing protocol, and the lymphatic protocol. And what's really neat about this is it really starts to help you understand and kind of bridge the gap between using oils and the way you feel and with touch and with thinking about what's going on in your life, what foods are you eating, how are they affecting you, what stressors are in your life affecting you physically. And so I find it interesting that um, a lot of people, especially if they suffer from any skin things like skin flares or flakiness or irritation on their skin, they immediately call their doctor and get a steroid cream. When in actuality, they could have a gluten intolerance, a dairy intolerance, they could be allergic to corn or wheat or any other of these things, and they are not really thinking about the foods that they're eating, that when we are digesting that food, it's actually an internal issue that's affecting you on the outside, on your skin. So again, this is where we kind of all start to make that connection between the oils that we're using. They're not just for diffusing and they're not just for making our house smell good, but they really have heavy hitting benefits to us at the cellular level, which is why it's called the symphony of the cell, right? Because we're kind of putting all these pieces together. And then the next system is the urinary tract system, um, the urinary system, which is down here. And this is your kidneys, your renal pelvis, your ureter, your bladder, your urethral areas. And the symphony of the cells protocols that can support this are the lymphatic protocol, the digestive protocol, the cardiovascular protocol, and the cellular protocol. And of course, I'm just sharing with you, with you um, to just kind of scratch the surface and help you familiarize so that when you are ready to dig into this, you'll already have kind of that recognition of seeing the names and hearing the names and kind of looking at this visually, I think that really helps. Um, the next one is the emotional and limbic system. So that is up here and that is for your hippocampus, your amygdala, your olfactory bulbs, your pineal gland, the corpus callosum, and the fornix. And then the symphony of the cells protocols that you would use for the, um, for the emotional and limbic system are the amobic protocol, the forgiveness protocol, the hormone balancing protocol, and the neurological protocol. The next one is the nervous system right here. And the nervous system is your brain, your spinal cord, your nerves, your neurons, and your cerebellum. And the symphony of the cells protocols that correlate with the nervous system are the neurological protocol, as you can imagine, the solar, the cellular protocol, and the inflammatory protocol. Um, and then the skeletal and muscular and connective system is down here right there and this is your smooth cardiac and skeletal muscles your cartilage tendons ligaments and bones and then this one the symphony of the cells protocols that you would use for this are the chi protocol the inflammatory protocol the osteo protocol and the amobic protocol and then last but not least the respiratory system down below and this is one of my favorite Symphony of the Cells protocols because I love Siberian fur and <laughs> Siberian fur is in one of the respiratory, the respiratory protocols. And this is your nose, your pharynx, the larynx, your lungs, your trachea, and the Symphony of the Cells protocols for this are, of course, you can guess, the respiratory protocol, the lymphatic protocol, and the inflammatory protocol. So you'll see the gear shifts here um, in the back as well. So they kind of use these as little icons to help you understand. You know, obviously the um, digestive system icon is a little icon of an intestine and um, the respiratory system icon is a little icon of lungs and the same with um, the uh, immune system. It's kind of like a little shield, just like on our, on our uh, on guard blend. So you'll see all of these things can really help you put those pieces together and you don't have to know. You don't have to remember them all or memorize them all. You simply can refer to your reference materials and then feel comfortable using them. And so it, it can help you select which protocol to use and you can also start trusting your own inner wisdom with what feels best for you. And each page of the protocol has all the possible associated conditions, like I mentioned. So as you flip through the book and you see the digestive protocol, it's going to have all of these possible associated conditions that are not compliant. So I'm not going to say them, um, but then it will show you each of the oils that you're going to use and how you use each one. So in the new guide, the new guide's a little different because the new guide is going to have um, 
this really cool part of this called four weeks to wellness, which I think is really neat because if you are just starting out, it can help give you really a cool foundation, almost like a cleanse and restore protocol. So this is really neat because it's going to walk you through 28 days, I believe maybe 28 or 30 days, and you're going to work through the entire gamut of all of the Symphony of the Cells protocols actually. And every two or three days you switch to a different one. So you'd repeat this protocol this day, this day, and this day. And then you'd switch to this protocol as it tells you in the calendar and you do them for these days. And it goes through the entire month and through all the protocols, which is really cool. I mean, this is so cool. I'm gonna screen, there you go. So you can hopefully see that a little better. So it has a four weeks to wellness section. And then what's really cool about that is that it, it helps you um, incorporate this for your family and for yourself. So you could actually put a calendar together for your family and say, okay, on these days, we're gonna do Symphony of the Cells protocols. And that can be part of your routine, part of your schedule as a family, as your family calendar and for your family self-care plan. So I really love that. And um, then it also goes into talking about the importance of the lifelong vitality vitamins, terrazyme, um, the citrus oils, and how those help assist the body in eliminating waste and providing important uh, antioxidant benefits and support your for your healthy cellular function and purifying the body systems. Um, I just saw a question pop through. You can absolutely do the protocol on yourself and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that, which is really cool. Um, and then the body systems are all broken down one by one in here. So it's a little bit different and it's a little more comprehensive in here. So as you can see for the journal, it has an entire page for each body system and it goes through each of those protocols. So it talks about the endocrine system and it talks about the related oils and the single oils for each body system and the related vitamins that you can use to support yourself during times where you need this specific body system support um, and then any related vitamins or any related blends. So I think that is really, really cool. And then the next section goes into some best practices, which is really, really cool. And it gives you instructions and tells you all of the things that you want to do. And we're going to kind of go through those briefly as well. So it talks about some of the basics. Um, and we're going to use Mr. Bunny as our little assistant here. Now, some basics for doing the Symphony of the Cells protocol. The individual needs to be faced down. So as you can see, Mr. Bunny is here on my doTERRA board and he is face down, very relaxed, um, making sure that he can breathe very well. So Mr. Bunny is just relaxing. And um, you can get the book from True Wellness or from Symphony of the Cells also. So yeah, you will be able to snag this. Just do a simple Google search for the Symphony of the Cells journal and you can find that. So Mr. Bunny here is following the best practices and he is face down. And then you want the back and the feet exposed. So Mr. Bunny does not have any socks on right now, okay? So hopefully you guys can see Mr. Bunny right here. And so when you um, are ready to begin, now the nice thing is that you want to have everything ready to go. You want to have everything within arm's length so that you can keep connection with whoever you are working on. So if you've ever gotten a massage, it's the most frustrating thing when you're having a massage and then the person lifts their hand off and you're freezing and then they're like going to get something. So it's really important that you try to keep um, your connection with the person physically uh, as, as long as you're doing the protocol. So I like to have everything within arm's reach of me. And so you want to have everything ready to go, maybe like a console table or something where you can have that easily accessible. If you don't have a massage table, that's fine. You don't need a massage table to do Symphony of the Cells. Um, you do need a massage table for Aroma Touch, so I would recommend you know, something like a bed or a couch or wherever the person can be comfortable. Because guess what? If you're not comfortable, you're definitely not going to feel relaxed. And so you always want to apply a carrier oil to the skin before you apply any hot oils. Um, and the labels on the oils will say specifically whether they need to be diluted or, you know, any concerns um, that there would be any concerns with skin sensitivity. Like when you're doing the uh, infectious disease protocol, for an example, that has oregano and oregano is a hot oil. So you definitely always want to make sure that if you are doing that protocol, that you use carrier oil. And um, you always want to let the oil drip out of the bottle and you want to keep the bottles out of sunlight. So what I like to do, and I'll talk about this in a second, I like to use flip caps for my Symphony of the Cells oils and for my Aroma Touch oils. So hopefully you can see that. This is a 15 ml flip top and it's just a 
screw on that goes right on the bottle. And um, there's a little bit of frankincense there, so I'm just gonna put that in my hands because it smells delicious. Yes, you can, Melanie. We are gonna actually do that um, at the end. And so you want to try and make it as easy as possible for you to not lose connection with the person. So in that sense, when you are doing a Symphony of the Cells protocol, if you are able to flip the cap open with one hand, you won't lose connection with the person. So that's just a personal little life hack that I like to do. Um, but the dropper tops are great, of course, for crafting and things like that. But I really like to use the, drop, the, uh, the flip caps for Symphony of the Cells. And um, you never want to put oils in the eyes or in the ears. So never in the eyes or in the ears. You don't want to put oils there. Okay, and then you never want to add water to the oils unless you want to intensify the effects. And we're going to talk about that a little bit at the end when you're talking about how you actually want to, if you want to, um, intensify the effects. And the flip caps you can get from some of the online oil retailers. I think I got mine from Dot Oil Supplies, and they are really inexpensive and they come in bulk. Um, they come in a pack of 12. Actually, I think. You can buy them in different quantities, but I, I got mine in a set of 12, I think. Um, and especially if you are wanting to start a collection of the 40 oils, and you're definitely gonna wanna uh, have the flip cap so that it's really easy to use that. And so detoxing. So you wanna help process and discharge the toxin. So it's best for the person that's being given the protocol to hydrate with water. One to two drops of lemon or wild orange or something like that after they receive a Symphony of the Cells protocol is really great. And I like to incorporate things like coconut water with lime essential oil, uh, a cup of bone broth as well. It's very normal also to experience some detoxing um, afterwards. So things like nausea or feeling fatigue or feeling a little bit high energy. Um, or feeling any emotional kind of release afterward because you're letting your body try to get back to homeostasis. And that means sometimes you need to release something, whether it's negativity or hurt feelings or frustration or emotions or just nasty germs that you caught from somewhere. So um, just keep that in mind that sometimes you might hear people say you need to feel, you may feel a little bit worse before you feel better. It's your body kind of making that jump and boosting your immune system in those different areas to really help you heal. And so um, the next section is how often and how much. So in general, if someone is a fairly healthy person, um, they can they can do two to three Symphony of the Cells protocols per month. I think that's a really good average, um, which is about every other week. So you can kind of prioritize that on your schedule whenever you can. Now, if someone has a present condition, which means if they are sick, if they are under the weather, if they do not feel good, if they are under extreme emotional distress, you can do two to three times a week um, for one to two weeks, you know, as long as the situation is continuing to occur. And then how much oil? So you're gonna use about four to six drops per oil listed in the protocol. And that's just the recommended list, that's just the recommended dosing. But if you are working on a child or someone with sensitive skin, you can always just start with one or two drops and do that. So for each of the oils listed, you're gonna just use one to two drops. If you are working on someone that is older with sensitive skin or younger with sensitive skin, and then a normal adult, you can use four to six drops. And remember that the Symphony of the Cells protocols are meant to be simple and you can't do it wrong. So you just want to be present and be feeling in that healing vibe that you're giving that energy to the person that you're working on to help them heal. So the next section is how to actually do it. So you take your carrier oil, you're gonna apply your carrier oil to the back and spine. So you're gonna just take your carrier oil. And what I like to do is go in circular motions to make sure that I'm getting all of the uh, carrier oil covering all the surface area of the skin that I'm going to be working on, okay? So that's just, for me, that is what I like to do. So I just like to go like this in circular motions. You can either go counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever you prefer. I think in the booklet it says clockwise, so you can go clockwise to make sure that you get carrier oil. So you're basically creating a barrier on the skin from any irritation so that the skin can just receive the benefits of the oil. And then um, you don't wanna irritate the skin, of course, so you wanna uh, make sure that you put carrier oil on the entire back of the body, also on the feet, okay? So you wanna make sure that you smooth down the feet and apply the carrier oil to the feet as well. Now the aromatic application is, and in the book um, there are icons, and so hopefully you can see this. 
And if you have the guide, you can look at them here. So the guide has all the icons. So the carrier oil is the C and that means that is a symbol that tells you to apply carrier oil. And so um, what you're gonna do is look at each of the protocols and it will tell you based on the little icon. So it's like a little picture and the pictures will tell you exactly what to do. So for example, this one, you see the C, that means you put the carrier oil on first. Um, and then you see the little icon that shows a spine. So you're gonna apply oils to the spine and that's how you're gonna follow the directions of each of the protocols. So I'm gonna go through what each of the icons means and how you use it. So the first one is the carrier oil, which is applying the fractionated coconut oil to the back and feet. The aromatic application is the nose, as you can see, and this is where you let the person smell the oil. So this step involves where an individual is receiving the application and you put the oils into your hands and then you put it underneath their nose so that they can take a deep breath. And you can just say something like, take a deep breath because they're relaxing and they're probably in a more meditative state already at that point. So you wanna make sure that they know to take a nice deep breath and those oils are gonna be underneath their nose and they're gonna just be able to breathe in the benefits of that. The next one is the heart and the chest. So this is the little heart icon and this means to apply oil over the heart area from a roller ball um, or into their hand and then they can massage it on their chest because obviously they're not going to be wearing a shirt and so you want to make sure that you are giving them modesty and privacy so they're not exposing any parts of their body so you can give them the oils in their hands and they can rub that onto their chest over their heart area um, as they are comfortable doing and then the liver area is the next one. You can see this cute little icon of the liver. And the liver is where you'll apply the oil over the liver, which is the right side of the lower rib cage. And again, the guide has all this information in there for you. And the next one is the neck and shoulders, right? So you'll see that right here. This is the applying oils to the neck and shoulders. And that's where you'll apply the oil um, to the neck and shoulder area. You can see Mr. Bunny right here. And then the next one is the feet application. Can see the little piggies right here and so that's where you will apply the oils to the feet and so you will just go down i like to go down starting with the heel of my hand on the heel of their foot and just kind of work down with the feet okay and mr bunny is having a really good time <laughs> and the next one um, is the hands so for the hands um, and actually i'm sorry the next one is applying the oil to the back so this is um applying the oil to the entire back which is the little spine icon here. And that's, again, where you use circular motions to start at the lower spine, and you can work your way up to the neck toward the base of the skull if you want. It's whatever choose your own adventure that you find benefits you or that you feel comfortable doing, you can do that methodology. And then you're gonna work your way up toward the base of the neck. So every time you apply the oils, you're gonna follow the guide in the images for each of the protocols. Um, and then of course the hand icon is where you'll apply oils to the person's palms. And then there is an intensify option. So this is where if you wanted to add water to further intensify the benefit of the oils, um, you would have that option to um, create a little bit more movement in the body. So when there's heat, it generates a little more movement in the body. So you can hop in the shower or take a bath. Um, you can use a hot compress or a towel. Um, and if you find it uncomfortable, you can apply a little more carrier oil to any areas that are maybe feeling irritated. If you do um, apply a warm towel or a cloth or something and you're feeling a little irritated, you can just apply a little bit of carrier oil. Don't add more water, that will just intensify. But sometimes you want to intensify that, especially if you're doing like an infectious disease protocol or something like that. So what I wanna show you, and this might be confusing because you're seeing all these icons and they're not in a row. So when you decide which protocol you're going to do, for example, this is the digestive protocol, okay? So up here you see the digestive protocol. You also see the cor correlating um, little organ system here. And it will start and it will tell you which oil and what to do with each oil. So step one is using frankincense. And so for step one with frankincense, you see the little shoulder icon. So this tells you that you want to apply frankincense to the shoulders. And then there's a nose icon. So you're going to apply the frankincense that's already in your hands. You're going to take that underneath the person's nose and let them take a deep breath. And then you're going to apply the rest of the oil in your hands to their feet. So as you can see, it tells you it's very easy to follow. Kids can do this. It is really, really fun for them to learn and be involved in this. So 
The same with the next oil. So this, the next oil is a carrier oil. So that's where you are preparing the skin to be receiving some of these more heavy hitting oils. So you see the carrier oil sign, you apply carrier oil all over the back, and then you apply the uh, carrier oil down to the spine. The next oil is thyme. So you're gonna apply thyme all the way down the spine and the feet. And then you're gonna work your way through each of the oils following the little icons and you get the hang of it after a little bit, the spine and the feet, the spine and the feet, the spine and the feet. So the same thing with all the oils in this protocol. And that's how it goes for every one of the protocols. And they're all different and they're all very, very similar um, in the sense that you start with frankincense and then you move to carrier oil for every single protocol, even though the rest of the oils may be different, the steps are the same the spine and the feet, the spine and the feet, the spine and the feet. So this makes it really helpful for you to get into the flow because you're putting the oils on the shoulders and neck area and you're putting that frankincense in there because frankincense intensifies the benefits of all the oils we use with it. So that's an amazing fact, amazing reason why frankincense is in all the protocols. And then you apply your carrier oil to create that shield and then you work one by one in circular motions on the spine and down the feet the spine and down the feet. And I like to do maybe two rotations through the entire body, kind of doing like three lanes. So you kind of go up and then through the middle and then up the other side and you kind of snake around. So you can go down one side, up the middle and then down the other side. So hopefully this helps you. And again, you don't need any formal training. This is very simple. Anybody can do it. Your kiddos can do it. Super, super fun. Okay, so a very popular question that I get is, how do you apply the oils to yourself if you don't have someone that can do it for you? So since um, you may not be able to access your entire back um, on your own, unless you're like an aer aerobatic yogi, uh, acrobatic yogi, then you can apply the oils where you can reach. So apply the oils to the bottom of your feet, which you can absolutely reach. Any of us can reach the bottom of our feet, right? Hopefully, and if not, that's okay. You just do the best you can. Um, and then your lower back. So if you can reach your lower back area, you can get to your lower back. Um, and then your shoulders and your neck area and the base of your skull. So if you can't reach any of those parts, like the back of your, you know, anywhere, like if you are having serious pain, if you can't lift your shoulder or something, just do what you can and that's gonna be super beneficial for you. So complete any of the applications on the bottom of your feet um, if you can't reach anything. So again, just anything to the bottom of your feet because we have so many nerve endings there, it's a great place to apply oils. Um, and you can even get fancy actually and you can use the reflexology chart in the back of the journal, which is really cool. So that's another cool feature about the journal. There's reflexology charts here. Um, for the hands and then there's a reflexology chart for the feet, which is really really cool So if you are into this um, you might find this helpful and there's also a reflexology chart in the symphony of the cells booklet And I definitely recommend having both um, I think that this is really helpful to have uh, because it's really pocket sized and it also comes with um, some chakra information here for you to balance your emotions this way as well if you are into chakra balancing. Um, and it has an ear reflexology chart and the feet, ooh, and my page is falling out, the one that I use all the time. Um, the feet reflexology, the ear, and then I believe the hands are in here too. So this is really, really cool. Lots of fun things for you to learn and discover and grow as you are using these protocols. Um, and then a few of my favorite little life hacks for um, just kind of DIYs and, and kind of making this a little more streamlined. Oh, also before I forget, there is a 100 Symphony of the Cells protocol challenge in the journal. So in the back, there is a section for you to journal um, each of the 100 Symphony of the Cells protocols that you do. So you can put their name, which application that you chose, um, and all of that cool stuff. So it kind of has it written out here for you so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and there are all these blank pages. So it tells you, it gives you kind of a guide of how to do the journaling element of it. So that's pretty neat. So if anyone is doing the 100 Symphony of the Cells Protocols Challenge, let me know. That's super fun and I'm excited to see um, what you do with that. So a few of my little DIY life hacks. So of course, my first one is a document holder. I love using a document holder in my room. It's called the Zen Den, in the room that we use for massage 
for um, the Symphony of the Cells and the Aroma Touch treatment. You can get this on Amazon for a couple bucks. I think it's in my Amazon favorites. This just folds down flat and we put it in the um, drawer that we have up there. And it's really helpful. So you can prop this up on your space. And then what I like to do, and I think we're maybe almost done with Mr. Bunny. Um, what I like to do is go to the protocol that I am going to use and clip it to the clipboard, to this little document holder. And so that way I do not have to mess with anything. I don't have to mess with the booklet and figuring that all out when I'm trying to reach for the oils and hold on to the person that's getting the treatment, in this case, Mr. Bunny. I can hold on to him while I am reaching for the oils that I'm gonna use for the next protocol. So um, again, also we talked about this, the flip caps. The flip caps make life so much easier when you're doing Symphony of the Cells, when you're doing Aroma Touch, because again, you just flip it up with your thumb and then you have access. You take off the reducer if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but I do. Um, so, you know, if you have dropper tops on there, you just take the dropper top off, take the reducer off, and screw on the 15 ml dropper, uh, I keep saying dropper, the 15 ml flip cap and you are able to pour the oils directly onto the skin that way. Um, and then my favorite life hack is making a roller blend for each of the protocols in the Symphony of the Cells, all of them, every single one. If you want to have fun and do a craft date, it would be so fun to do that because then you're, pre you're prepared and you have something whenever you need it. And the cool thing about the blend is it can give you support in between protocols. So if you have a, a protocol that you are doing on somebody um, and you might not be able to see them for three days, you can make them a little tiny roller blend um, and they can roll that on their feet and their spine and anywhere that you may not be able to reach in between sessions. So I am going to actually show you how we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna walk you through the basic protocol, which is really bright in here, but hopefully you can see that. So this basic protocol just has four basic oils. And this is the most used, this is the most versatile of the protocols because um, it is great for applying simply to a child. It's great for supporting um, any immunity boost that somebody needs or any stress reduction that somebody needs. Really, really simple and it only takes four oils. So if you have been following me for a while and you've been watching all the shenanigans that I've been doing with oils and you don't wanna be overwhelmed but you wanna start with something really impactful, this set of four oils would be amazing for you. And the cool thing is they actually come in the Aroma Touch kit. Four of these oils come in the Aroma Touch kit and you get four other ones, but the four that we're gonna use come in that kit. So if you wanted something like this where you're gonna really have the most bang for your buck, this is a great way to start. Even if you just start with these four, but it's more financially beneficial, it's a better value to get the Aroma Touch kit. So if you have questions about that, you can message me afterward. So what I like to do is just take each of these oils and you can make a roller bottle out of them to have ooh, to have handy so we're gonna do that with lots of loudness so we're gonna take the first oil which is frankincense and we're just gonna grab a 10 milliliter roller bottle from the root and petal that I have here and I've got the roller ball here handy and we're gonna take 10 drops of frankincense so we're gonna start with that and we're gonna just gonna put 10 drops of frankincense into our roller And the cool thing about the um, flip caps is that it makes it really easy to distribute the oil because you just tap it and then one drop comes out. And the next one we're gonna do is our Melaleuca. This is tea tree, this is all things cleansing, really, really great for any immune issues. And again, this is why it's in the um, basic protocol because it's super gentle and great for everyone. So we're gonna put 10 drops in here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we are gonna do 10 drops of Aroma Touch. And this is the massage blend, very soothing, warming, cooling. It's herbaceous. It's also got a little bit of citrus in there and minty, and this is fantastic. So we're gonna put 10 drops of Aroma Touch in there. There we go, some of them didn't want to come out. And then last but not least, we are gonna add 10 drops of peppermint, and peppermint is very cooling, it's like an icy blast, it helps give you energy and sort of wake up the body. So we're gonna add 10 drops of peppermint into our roller and I just put the little cap stickers on there so you know it's exactly what's in there. And there's our oils down there at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, some of those were half drops. There we go. 
So we've got our oils and then we're gonna just take our carrier oil and we're gonna pump that right in. And if you are using the doTERRA um, fractionated coconut oil, I would definitely recommend getting a pump top. You can get that from Share Oils or you can get it from Amazon or from your doTERRA back office. I highly recommend that because it makes it really, really simple to pump the oils right in there. And then you just take your roller top and you put that in there tightly until it clicks. And then you just secure the top of your roller bottle like this and then you have a roller bottle. So many of you were asking, and this is a really great way, especially if you are by yourself or you're traveling and you wanna be prepared for anything, this would be a great roller just to have in your purse, like for any reason. So um, hopefully you find this helpful. So in summary, use your oils, use lots of different ones. I will tell you that I felt like I was kind of rediscovering my love and my joy for oils when I started incorporating Symphony of the Cells because there were so many oils in my collection that I just never needed. I never reached for very often because for whatever reason, either we, we just didn't need them or I just didn't think about them. And the Symphony of the Cells really helps you tap into appreciating the power of some of the oils that we might not reach for often. So if you need an idea for a roller bottle to give somebody for something, or if someone is going through you know, a challenging time where they keep getting sick, this would be a great spin on an immunity roller to give them and, and they could just have this handy. So whatever is going on, when in doubt, use the Symphony of the Cells and knock it out because from the very most basic protocol, Yes, um, Melanie, you can absolutely make a roller for each oil. That would just be a lot of rollers um, because that would be 40 rollers, but you can absolutely do that. Lizzie, the blend is actually just the basic protocol. So that's um, the basic protocol here in the guide. And this is for immunity support and for reducing stress. So basically those two can really cover a large surface area of issues like and I'm not gonna go into it because it's not compliant, but there's a lot of possible <laughs> associated conditions um, like head tension, elevated temperature, um, some pain in the ear area that you might need support for, yes. So you can always do these on yourself and then you can always make a roller ball. So Melanie was asking if she could make a roller for every single step and you absolutely can, but that's just gonna be a lot of rollers. That's gonna be 40 rollers. So if you if you want to do that, by all means, go for it and you'd have a full set of the Symphony of the Cells rollers at, you know, at a moment's notice. But what I think would be a better value for you from like a, just a tools perspective is to make a blend for each of the protocols so that you have all those oils in one in one roller bottle together. And then you can use that in between, or even in a pinch, you could use it. I mean, there's definitely so much value to be had from actually layering the oils one by one on the skin, and that's the importance of it. But in a pinch, it's about doing what we can do, you know, when we have the time. So I hope that you found that helpful because that's a lot of information. Um, we talked for an hour, but it's really nice that I love having this information stored in YouTube. So even if you had to leave the, the broadcast or if you couldn't watch it live, once you go through the training, later on when you get your guide in, you can watch this back and you can fast forward through it or you can you know, rewind it or whatever you need to do, but you'll have this as a reference in the cloud where you can refer back to it at any time. And so as I showed you just now for the basic protocol, Aroma Touch, a Frankincense, Melaleuca, and Peppermint, and there's making a basic roller for the basic Symphony of the Cells protocol and this will go really far. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, it'll be stored in the cloud, easy peasy. Don't overcomplicate it, don't overthink it. It's not as complicated as the Aroma Touch. Anybody can do this. Your kids can absolutely do this. So speaking of easy and keeping it simple, when you are ordering your monthly wellness box um, through doTERRA, through the Loyalty Rewards Program, if you have points to spend and you're never, you know, I mean, I always have lots of things that I need to cash my points in, but if you ever have a time where you're not sure what to get, Use your Symphony of the Cells reference guide and make sure that you have all the oils in here that you need so that you're ready for anything that your family might be experiencing and then you can reach right for that and have everything with you. So um, I love that with the wellness box, you know what's in there because most of the time if you do like a you know monthly subscription box type of thing, they put random stuff in there that you might not even need or want. And I love that with doTERRA's, you get to pick exactly what's in there and you get to decide when it arrives and, and it's super flexible. So um, also every time that you do your monthly wellness box order by the 15th of the month, you get to participate in the free oil of the month club, which is super nice. So if you have not done yours yet for the month, 
Um, as long as you process it by Monday night, you'll get a free lime, which is awesome and I love it. And Beth is exactly correct. In the back of the Symphony of the Cells booklet, there is a list of substitutions. So let's say you're just getting started with your oil collection and you don't have every oil and it's gonna take you a while. It has a substitution list which you can go to first. But then you know what I do? If you don't have that oil, use frankincense. Just use a little bit extra frankincense or what I call the poor man's frankincense, copaiba. Just use copaiba or frankincense in place of something that you don't have. Now obviously the oils are in the protocol for a reason, but if you don't have something, I don't want that to prevent you from being able to enjoy it. And these four oils um, are, like I said, in the Aroma Touch kit, and these three are in all the starter kits. So even though you won't have Aroma Touch, you'll have these three. So if you have nothing else, you have these three, and you can at least do the basic protocol. So if you are ready to dig into oils and you wanna learn more about all this and you want one-on-one -on -one education and support from me, either virtually or if you are in my local area, I would love for you to reach out. You can send me a message on any of the Vortexes, my website, hillarylemay.com, and you'll have access to all the research, all of the exclusive online community perks and benefits we have, all the resources. You'll actually get um, all of the protocols in this booklet because they are saved in one of the albums in my private Empowered by Oils page. So you'll have access to every single one of the protocols plus a copy of uh, access to the Google document that has all 40 oils listed so you don't have to just keep flipping through and making notes of which oils you need. So um, you also get access to all the replays from all my classes, workshops, tutorials, all the resources that I've ever had and archived since 2014, you get access to all of that. So reach out directly if you'd like to help, um, if you'd like me to help you figure out what oils to start with, what would be beneficial for you. I would love to curate a custom kit for you that would work for just your needs. And um, Melanie, I'm so glad. I love having Melanie in our oil tribe, in our EBO oil squad. It's just such a joy seeing all of you using your oils and seeing changes in your family and the way you feel each and every day. So I hope that you can start to see how versatile the oils are. You can use them for anything under the sun. And most importantly, I hope you feel comfortable using them on your friends and family and using the oils that you have invested in. Because you've purchased oils, if you have, you've bought them for a reason, right? You wanna use them. And so Symphony of the Cells has really helped me maximize the benefit of some of the oils that were kind of just sitting in my cabinet for a while that I wasn't using very often. And so this is a really great reminder of how they benefit you so much. Oh, and Beth is asking my non-toxic nail polish color of the night is Neely. She is one of my favorites. She's like kind of a minty green color. And then I'm wearing my favorite non-toxic lipstick, Crunchy. And this is Crunchy in the color Blissful with the um, Namaste lip gloss from Crunchy also. So I love my non-toxic products. I love spreading love, not toxins. So I love my non-toxic nails, my non-toxic cosmetics. It makes me feel really good that I am able to support my body from all areas of my wellness and oils are just one of those. So hopefully you will enjoy this and I can't wait to see and hear all about it. So if you try some of these Symphony of the Cells protocols, tag me or message me and let me know how you're feeling and over time you start to get a little bit more comfortable with it. And that is a wrap on my 193rd Periscope broadcast. Um, you'll also wanna check out the current Stadler promotion. So if you have been following me for a while and you love the long running diffusers, right now Stadler is running an awesome promo when you buy the family bundle of the Julia, she runs 54 hours, plus the Jasmine, who runs 24 hours, and the Mia, who runs 10 hours, you will get all three of them for $99. Normally that's $179. For the next week, it's 99. So there's promotions on getting your oils for 25% off. You're gonna get diffusers that are long lasting and great quality. So between the two of these, you're gonna be able to use oils for your family in every capacity, and it's going to be an awesome rest of the summer. And as you get into the school, the back to school time, it's gonna be perfect. You are gonna be feeling aligned and your family is gonna be feeling empowered that you can handle anything that comes your way. So um, tag me if you try any of these. If you're in my local oil squad and you wanna experience the Symphony of the Cells, just come on down, let me know, and we will get you down here. And I will see you next time on July 25th for my next Throw It Out Thursday broadcast because we are spreading love, not toxins. And I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.